In this video we're going to solve some word problems that are applications of right triangles and we really need to understand two terms to be able to do this and those terms are angle of elevation and angle of depression. So These are common words in these type of problems. Angle of elevation talks about the angle between the horizontal and a line of sight when the object is above the horizontal an angle of depression is the same thing as so now we're talking about an object below the horizontal. So ele elevation is up or above and depression is down or below. And they're both above or below the horizontal. So we're always going to be talking about an angle made with the horizontal either going up like this or coming down like that one. So you're looking for one of those two situations. In the first example we have a straight 120 meter ramp is built down a hillside that makes an angle of 54 degrees with the horizontal. So here's a ramp, it comes down a hill, and here we can put the hill. So this is the height of the hill, and we have the ground here. So we get this nice 90 degree angle. We know the ramp is 120 meters, so that would be this side. The angle is with the horizontal, so we're talking about this angle. And we want to know what's the height of the hill, so we can call that h. Well, the height of the hill, that would be opposite that angle. We also know this, which is the hypotenuse of the triangle, because it's across from the 90. So if we know, if we want opposite, and we have the hypotenuse, well, we can say the sine of 54 is going to be h over 120. Cross multiply, we get 120 sine of 54 is equal to h, and that tells us that h is going to be 120 multiplied by the sine of 54, which is 97.1 meters, since we're going to round to three significant digits here. And that's the height of the hill. We'll move to the next example then. In example two, we have a tree with a shadow 22.8 meters long. When the angle of elevation of the sun is 62.6, .6, how tall is the tree? So we'll draw a tree here. There's the tree. And we have the sun, which is above the tree. And it shines down here. And we get, there's the sun coming down. And we can draw the ground here. And we get this 90 degree angle with the tree. And of course the shadow is on the ground. So this is the shadow and the shadow we know is 22.8 meters. And we know the sun has an angle of elevation of 62.6 .6 degrees. And we want to know how tall is the tree. We'll call it T for tall tree. So the tree is opposite the angle. The shadow is adjacent. So because we're talking about a right triangle here, the tan of 62.6 .6 is going to be opposite over adjacent. Cross multiply, we get 22.8 times the tan of 62.6 .6 is equal to t. And that's going to tell us then that the tree is 22.8 tan 62.6, 6, 43 0.99, we're going to actually use three significant digits, so 44.0 meters tall. One more example for this video. We have a new office tower in West Bay is 85 meters high and casts a shadow 60 meters long. Find the angle to the nearest degree which the sun rays make with the ground. So this time we're going to look for the angle. So here's our tower. We have the sun making its way down that way. Along the ground we have a shadow. We get a nice 90 degree angle here. We know the building is 85 meters. We know the shadow is 60 meters. We want angle theta here. So again, right triangle means we can use our trig functions. Opposite and adjacent. So opposite, adjacent. Right away you're hearing yourself think tan, I hope. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent. Theta then is shift tan or tan inverse 
of 85 over 60. So second function, tan. Gives us tan inverse of 85 over 60. And that tells us that the angle of the sun makes with the ground is equal to 55 degrees rounded to the nearest degree, as we're instructed. So we'll stop this video with those three word problems. In the next video, we'll solve examples four and five. Try them on your own. Make sure you're getting these questions right. If you're struggling with these, you can find more practice in your book or come see me. But make sure you are trying them and you're getting the answers right. And we'll see you in the next lesson.